water consumption. How much do you need in a day? Two liters? Three liters? A gallon? Like... Just coffee. Just coffee. No water, just coffee. Is coffee considered water in your overall intake? Like those are all questions we get asked on a day-to-day -day basis. Usually I say, try to drink two to three liters a day. I try to say the same thing. I usually just say, make sure that water consumption is your main form of hydration. Yeah. And then anything else that you consume, whether it be alcohol, coffee, whatever, you can still do it, but water has is, to be, still has to be a top priority. I mean, your body is what? 80% yeah. water. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. necessary. Why do people hate water? That's the, the number one question. Some people be like, well, it doesn't taste like anything. Well, if it doesn't taste like anything, shouldn't you be able to consume it without problem? Well, I need, it needs to be flavorful. Then add something to it. I'll be like, add Mia. Well, that's, those are chemicals. Okay. Do we want to, do we want to talk about the excessive <laughs> wine consumption that you have? Then just add, uh, just add lemon. Can you drink too much water? You can. Is there such thing as water toxicity, Jules? The toxicity, I don't know, but you can yeah. drink. You can drink too much. Do you know what happens when you drink too much water? No, not specifically. You start to throw off your electrolyte balance, and in doing so, your salt in your body diminishes because the water is yeah. so high. You can throw off certain profiles in your brain and body that cause certain things to shut down. I don't think that's something that anyone really needs to be concerned no. about because no. we don't consume enough. How would water be beneficial to somebody who wants to lose weight. To be honest, to be truly honest, I don't know the exact science. There's no science. I just, I just know that your body needs water to survive. True. So what I normally tell clients when in regards to water, our hunger hormones play, play with our head a lot. People are like, well, I'm always hungry. Are you hungry or bored? Because if you're bored, you tend to be hungry because you need something to do. Yep. Most of my clients, when we have this conversation, I try to tell them before, before you have a meal, consume a glass of water. A, because if, if hunger is, is genuinely what you require, that glass of water is not gonna do enough, you'll still be hungry. But if you're bored and your body is telling you that you're hungry, that glass of water might be enough to curb that hunger for a few more hours, which means you didn't snack, which means overconsumption of calories diminishes. Yep. The other thing would be water throughout the day, just, I mean, it's still occupying space in your stomach. It's not gonna be a ton, but it might be enough where you don't tend to go and grab those little vending machine things. So what's the rule of thumb? If, you're, if, we're, if we were gonna take a stance today and be like, have a on average. Have a glass of water when you wake up, have a glass of water before every meal, and that will probably help significantly with your yeah. total calorie yeah. intake, yeah. your hydration, so skin health, yeah. energy level, your ability to sleep, yeah. because dehydration, has massive impacts on your sleep, your recovery. When I say what, five, six glasses a day is just a start, which is not a lot, but, but it's better on, than nothing. Yeah, depending on how big the glass is too. It can be a little, little sippy cup. It doesn't matter. Start somewhere. Start somewhere. <laughs> that is the gist of the majority of <laughs> yeah. fitness goals being hit is starting even if it's insignificant in a day-to-day -day basis. So don't go right before bed and be like, oh, I still got a liter of water left to drink. I'm going to chug it and then I'm going to go to bed. You're like, no, terrible. don't do that. And there's nothing beneficial <laughs> waking up at two o'clock in the morning to go pee. No, don't worry too much about it. But worry Put, enough about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Put some emphasis on it. Don't worry too much about it to a point where you're actually like calculating every ounce that you're drinking. And, and right. if you're going to consume alcohol, every maybe drink or two, consume a glass yeah, of water. That too. Just to keep everything yeah. relatively level. Kind of like with coffee. If you're going to drink five coffees a day, try to balance that out with water also because caffeine does dehydrate. There is so. a diuretic effect. Yeah. Water is the zest of life and your body <laughs> requires it. So stop hindering your body's needs. And if you need to flavor it, by all means do it. Flow uh, watermelon plus lime. There you go. Just solved your problem. <laughs> Today's sponsor. No. <laughs> All right, on that note, drink your water, uh, but don't overthink it. Uh, and yeah, we will see you Enjoy. in the next video.